It's time for another battery video. Let's do it. Okay, this time around, we're gonna be talking again about these Jeep battery modules. They're 12S, 44 volts, 47 amp hours, uh, 2.1 kilowatt hour, right? They have cell, uh, Samsung cells, and these can do about 400 amps uh, because they're, you know, electric car, and they're also used in uh, models that are hybrids. So they, they can put out a lot of power, but they have also somewhat good uh, energy density, right? So they're kind of in the middle. But what we've, we've done is we've made a breakout PCB because they have proprietary technology, right? That's the original board that's in them. And it's got this nice little connector in here and stuff. Unless you know how to sniff the CAN messages and, you know, speak that protocol, you can't use this. This is this is a BMS system in here with like a, I don't know, like probably moderate degree of like, uh, you know, hacking skills and coding skills that are required to do this, right? Um, then this is kind of useless. So what we've done is we've done a simple breakout board that fits right there. And this is just, you know, these are just traces. These are just so that you can connect all the stuff that's in there. And then we have our own little connector in here and, uh, and accessible so that you can, you know, connect these uh, modules as a part of a big battery system, right? And so today I'm gonna show you the new version of this board because we've uh, updated it. And now you're able to flip it around. So, you know, this one has a connector on this side, but then uh, depending on your application, you might want the connector to go on this side, right? Like maybe you want to run all of your cables through the center and you want to put all these, you know, uh, facing one way, the, the positive and the negative, you know, it's just, so there's applications where like you might want to have the connector on this side or on that side. And now you're able to do it with that same board. But the problem is that you do have to get it with this connector either on the bottom side, this is the bottom side, the top side of the board or on the bottom side of the board. We have two boards here and they're on the opposite side. And so we're gonna use those to, to do these batteries here. Okay, so first I'm just gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna start by showing you how to replace this original board with uh, with our new one, right? And so we'll start taking off these, these uh, screws. This is very simple. Right, and last thing to do is to install these little thermistors. They're just two little little um, pins that are sticking out there, right? We couldn't find the right connector, but it doesn't matter. This will work. And you just put it in there. Okay, next what we're going to do is change the direction of the connector this is the original connector goes over here right and we just saw how you replace this board with one with our connector now we're going to replace it with this one and now the connector is on this side so let's do that you take off all the screws obviously and then you remove this board and now on the bottom side this is what you do you put it in here and then you push it down there so it doesn't sit perfectly in there because this thing has a little cutout here. Now you can go into trouble and do that yourself or you could just leave it as is. It doesn't matter that it's sitting on top of that wire, you know, uh, it's just gonna have a little bit more tension in here, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It's up to you uh, to, to decide what to do. Just leave it as is like that with a little bit of pressure and the board's bending a, a little bit, or if you wanna do it completely jit and cut the, the 
plastic on the bottom side. There you go. So when you're going to put the, the cover on this one that's on the other side, you will also have to cut this little piece of uh, plastic here because this this was meant to go like that, right? So you just have to cut that in there and then you'll have access to that connector. Okay, so here are uh, two identical modules and they have now the, you know, the aftermarket or little breakout board here and the connectors are both in here in the middle right so if you want to run all of those connections in here then you could do that but also if you want to take this one and flip it around and put it on the side over here right because this is positive and this should be negative so you can daisy chain that way then yeah you would also have all the connectors in here but the ability to change this board to this way or that way allows you to just put these modules however you want if you want to connect them like this or if you want to connect them like that going up if you want to run you know some uh balance cables down the middle here and then down this side or all of them in the center or all of them on the out outside you know because maybe you're putting these uh modules you know they're putting them together close and there's not enough room in there this board allows you to have all the flexibility to change all that and so that you can make your pack the way that you want to without being constricted by where the connector's at because you can change it to either side right and so that's what this are pretty cool so we along with like uh, making this uh project this is a pcb way open source project and i made the design i ch I, I share the files and then you can go to pcbway.com uh and you can download the files and then print them yourself or you can just order them straight from pcb way uh's website along with all that we're also gonna be uh putting these on our website already uh modified like this right so if you want to buy these modules but you don't want to go through the trouble of like taking the covers off and doing the thing or you just want to these boards installed in your in your boards then yeah just head over click on the link below and we're going to be selling them already modified like this with the breakout board so that they're much more useful ready to go for you to put into a you know a third party or diy electric conversion project right or whatever a golf cart or a I mean, you could use these batteries for pretty much anything, right? So there you go. I just, a uh, quick video today. I just want to share with you guys that we have finalized that design. And now we've added that the, those features in there. Uh, and this is a 2.1 or 2.2 version of this board. And the latest version of this board is going to be at the PCB Way page, right? So that you can download this version, not the earlier version that we were using that doesn't have this functional functionality and stuff. And so... There you go. If you want to buy these modules as is, like ready like to go like this, you just head over to our website and you can buy them. If you want to buy them unmodified, you'd also go down there and there's a drop menu and then you can order these. These are on special right now. And so right now you can get them really, really cheap. And so they won't last for a long time. Uh, good batteries like this usually don't last. They, they go really fast. And so once, sometimes once we sell them out, then that's it. There's no more, right? uh i think we're gonna keep getting these in the future right but again you know there's no guarantees and so if you want to use these modules uh if you're planning a, a project yeah just you know go to our website and order them and then that's it now you don't have to worry about missing out all right thank you guys we'll see you guys on the next video bye